questions, so I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mandy. Hi everyone. Um, first, I would like to thank God for a uh, successful event tonight. And I want to thank uh, the present media for uh, always there to support us. And of course, I want to thank you, Bob Aron, Top Aron Promotion, uh, for helping me since the, the beginning. And of course, I, I don't want to forget to, to uh, thank the MGM. You know, I have a lot of uh, fight here in MGM. Thank you for uh, hosting the fight here in MGM. A lot of my fights. So uh, thank you so much for all the support and to all the sponsors always there behind us to support every promotion. Not only my fight but to the other fights. And of course uh, thank you to the team uh, Pacquiao, Freddy Rhodes and the rest. Of course the uh, team Bradley. Thank you for uh, a good, a, a good fight tonight. Thank you. Any questions? Manny, does this feel like the end to you, or did you do some things tonight where you're encouraged to uh, keep this thing going? Does this feel like the end to you? Congratulations, by the way. Does this feel like the end to you? And um, were there some good things that happened for you that will occur, or, or will it, you know, you be encouraged to return? Like I said, sir, um, I already uh, uh, decided that, um, committed to my family that after this fight, I'm going to uh, get back home and spend more time with, with them. And they, um, uh, about retirement that uh, gonna be, and um, then focus to help the people, serve the people in the, in the Philippines. And that's my priority right now and uh, focus. Maybe? Hi. Um, you said the other day you dreamed about how this fight would turn out. Did it turn out the way to dream? When? I'm happy with the result of the fight tonight. Um, although, you know, every round I'm looking for uh, a, a knockout to finish the fight, but we know that Bradley is, uh, is also a, a top uh, opponent, top boxer. So, you know, um, I did my best, but um, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm so happy with that. Uh, <clears throat> it's so that, that almost. Uh, what I want to do. So let me let me just make sure I got it right. You dreamed you were going to knock Bradley out. Sorry. Was that the dream that you knocked Bradley out to win, or that's you know I, I tell you this every round I'm looking for a, a good shot and I'm looking for um, uh, a knockout. But uh, like I said, Bradley is not that easy opponent. Hey Manny, right here. Um, does it, you know, you, you say you're retired, but wouldn't it be, you know, better for the Filipino people if you continue to fight because they, they their spirits seem to be lifted by you? You know, let me enjoy first uh, a retired life. If you ask me about, <laughs> if you ask me about come back, to come back. I don't know because uh, I might be enjoying a, a retired life, like, like I said. And uh, to say, uh, to coming back, I'm not there yet, so I don't know what's the feeling. You know, I don't know what's the feeling. And um, I'm committing to my family that, you know, I made my decision already. So. Thank you. Although, um, if you ask me about my about my condition, about my body, my body is still uh, I'm still okay. I can still uh, uh, give a good fight, 100 percent uh, condition like that. About training, I'm not busy in training. I work hard in training, so I'm still okay. Uh, Freda knows that how I, I prepare for the fight. Many. Uh, 
I just wonder, like, what it is that you love about boxing? What was it that brought you to the gym every day? Was it the fight itself, or was it the camaraderie with Freddie and working with all your training partners that you loved? Just um, it's a mix. Um, I like the fight. I, I like I, I love to the way we, we prepare for the fight. It's just uh, I'm happy doing that um, for prepare, preparing for uh, every fight. So it really oh, he always saw that to me the the, the aggressiveness, the hungerness, and in training to work hard. He knows how, how I work. Manny right here. Um, uh, two questions. One, in the eighth round, um, Tim got you with a good left hook, and then you were on the ropes, and you, you, you clinched with him, and then you whispered something to him. Can you tell us what you said? Well, um, I did that intentionally, uh, so that he will come in out, and I can counter him, and then uh, I can counter him, and then uh, I want that. But when I counter him again and throw in a lot of punches, uh, three power pants, he started back off like that and moving around. So it didn't work. <laughs> but what, what did you say to him? You whispered, you whispered something to him. What, can you tell us what you said? Whisper? I said, um, it's a uh, break, break. And, and second question, um, you seem to be having a lot of fun in there tonight, you know, smiling. T touching your gloves together. Can you tell us how much fun you had in there tonight, maybe compared to some of your more recent fights? Like I said, it's a good thing it's happened to me that I have a long day of in boxing. You know, what I, what I feel tonight, I feel like fresh. You know, that's why April Brown, like, you know, I, I, I'm excited. I feel fresh, like, I remember when I, when I started boxing, uh, when I started fighting here in America, 2001. So that's my feeling. Manny, did you have any problems with your shoulder, your right? Any problems with your right shoulder tonight? No, no. Um, I'm really thankful to God that He, you know, the healing is uh, really fast and recovery. And tonight, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to use it to prove that it's healed already. But when I get him uh, a, a few, uh, a few right hook, and then he he back up. And then, you know, he feel it, and then um, he knows that I'm going to counter him and, and, and right hook. One, one last question. Do you think you ended this trilogy as friends? As friends with Bradley? Did you end the trilogy as friends? Yeah, Bradley is a, nice, um, uh, he's a nice guy, a good man, and you know, in fact, I invited him, I invited him um, to uh, tomorrow with our uh, Bible study. <laughs> uh, we'll try, we'll try tomorrow to come to a uh, Bible study. This is good, I mean, uh, uh, this is boxing. We don't need to hit, 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 hit each other uh, outside the ring. We should, uh, we should be friends and, you know, we interview people, we get ex exciting fight for the people, and that's our job. Manny, right over here. Right over here. Um, it sounds like your family wants you to retire more than you want to retire. Can you definitely say tonight that you'll never fight again? You're good. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is 50-50, you know. I you know my heart is 50-50, but I love my family. I honor my family, you know, my kids. Um, I encourage them to, not to go to boxing, to be a boxer one day because um, boxing is it's a really hard sport and very difficult. And I don't know, like, like I said, you know, I might enjoy my, uh, as a retired life or I might get a comeback. It's hard to say because I didn't, I'm not there yet, you know. But right now, I, I, my decision is to retire. If, if Mayweather came back, would you change your mind? I can't answer that because, like I said, I might enjoy a uh, retired life, you know, spend more time with uh, to my family and, and helping people, you know, I love to help people. And even, uh, even before, from the beginning, before I became a, a politician, I, uh, I'm helping people in my country. Because, you know why? Because Manny Pacquiao's beginning is from nothing, 
from nothing. I I I I tell you this. I experienced the sleep in the street. I experienced to have to to uh, to have no food one day. I just drink water just to survive. That's about experience. That's why since the beginning when I when I uh, earning money from boxing, I I already helping them helping them until now. But I'm not announcing it because it's my own pocket. It's not a government pocket. pocket. So uh, that's what I did. My name is Presenter, please. Uh, if this, this was your last fight, how, uh, how do you resume your career? What do you think about your career and what's the best moment in boxing and the worst moment in boxing? You know, what I have done in boxing, I'm so satisfied and happy, more than happy because, because when I start boxing, I never think that I can I can, I can accomplish this, what I have done right now. And uh, I'm so thankful to God that He gave me this great responsibility, great achievements in life. And that's, uh, that's I mean, uh, that's a, a great blessing, some big blessings from the Lord that He, he gave it to me. He used me as a, a, as a role model and inspired people. What's the best moment and the worst moment in boxing? The best and the worst moment in boxing. There is no worst uh, moment in boxing. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> sometimes when you lose, it's not the worst moment. Um, it's a uh, sometimes you lose. It, it's it's kind of uh, uh, like uh, you want to grow, you want to learn more about about your job. Okay. That's I want to thank everybody for coming here and. Uh, Thank you very, very much, and uh, I want to thank Manny for all the great fights and for all the great memories, and uh, believe me, he has a great, great family, he has a great, great future, and uh, I wish him, and I'm sure all of us wish him nothing but the best. Thank you. Once again, thank you to all of you, uh, media and press, uh, for always behind us and supporting us. Uh, you know, you are part of this uh, achievements. All I have done, you are a part of that. And thank you for to Bob Aram, Top Rock Promotion, and of course, MGM. Thank you so much. God bless us all.